well, it's the start of the month and we've had deliveries arrive and uh, this has turned into a monthly thing. First thing to arrive is a 20 pack of octopus straps. Now, I mean, because I keep losing them off the side of this thing or people keep borrowing them, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, that's octopus straps. It's the first thing in the morning. I haven't had my coffee, so, uh, and we're obviously in the field for this one. So, uh, yeah, we'll move back to our desk for the next lot, and we'll see you there. Alright, not much time to stop this month. I've got a couple of things arrived. I've got a couple of 125mm cutoff discs, some ratchet straps, and a couple of magnets. Oh, and there's another, another disc in there. There we go. Alright, so, that'll be interesting. Let's see what else we can do. Alright, we've had a few things show up. We've had for a start, we've had a fan show up from Tinkerman Mick. This is a real big aero cool one. It's uh, had a little bit of use in the past. And we've had some magnets show up. Some uh, rear earth magnets that I paid a good price for, or rather a premium price for. These have got countersunk holes through them. So they will be handy for an upcoming project as well. All right, let's see what else we get. All right, another delivery has arrived, and this one had been sitting in my mailbox for a couple of days, apparently. Surprised it didn't go missing. The way the uh, mailboxes get raided around here. These are definitely tamper-proof bags. I will say that much. Okay, let's have a look at what's in here. There's a... Ah, okay. Ah, these will be the PCB rulers that I ordered. These are, uh, these are fun. I'm not sure if I actually ordered these. It might have been somebody that ordered them for me. Oh, wow, I have plastic stuck in my scissors now. Oh, it's going to take a while to fix that. So these are basically printed circuit boards, which are rulers. But they have all the surface mount component sizes on them. So, yeah. Very handy if you want to figure out what size packages and whatnot to order. And they've got uh, drill hole sizes as well. Very, very handy bit of gear to have. So yeah. All right, we'll move on and uh, see what else shows up. All right, something arrived by mail today. And it's been somewhat of a quiet month, deliveries and donations wise, but I do find usually towards the end of the month that Things get busy, and I really should have used a knife for this. Okay. I have used hand sanitizer at a local supermarket, and they have chosen the cheapest, crappiest one. My hands are not grippy in the slightest. What is this? Oh, this only took like two months to arrive. So, yeah, these are a card edge connectors. Um, but... Specifically, they are the ones used by five and a half inch floppies. Um, although these ones don't have the little divider, so they might be handy for a bunch of things. But they're designed to crimp onto ribbon cables. Um, and I have some little prototype boards kicking around that probably fit them. So that might be handy. But uh, this was originally for the uh, CPC 6128 data recovery video. So yeah. They only took like two months to get here. That was efficient. Anyway, I have some now. They'll be useful at some point. Let's see what else has showed up. All right, I've had a donation of a Duino Tech um, AT Mega Clone. This is a, a Mega 20, 2560. I always call them 2650s. Oh, wow. And it's a time of night where I'm tired. So yes, this is a, a J-Car clone, uh, part number XC4420, um, and also some, um, these have also been donated too, these are, are jumper pin kits, so they'll be handy, I can use them for some stuff, and breadboarding and whatnot. Alright, there is something else too, yeah, this thing has been sitting around waiting for me to um, bring in for a while, it's an Inkbird something, um, an Inkbird model ITC 308 it's a plug and play thermostat I guess wow I'm tired so we actually have a temperature probe here 
and um, I have a heating and cooling mode, I guess. And uh, so a PV and an SV. So that's probably like an upper and a lower temperature. Probably given that it's got hysteresis control. Made in Frankfurt in Germany. And oh, and so you've got a heating and a separate cooling thing. Actually, that could be kind of handy, actually. Um, we'll see how we go with it. But yeah, uh, coming into summer with me with MS, that could actually be something that's kind of useful. So anyway, we'll see what we can do with this later. All right, we have some donations that I've had to go and pick up. But uh, we have a pedestal drill, a storage box, get rid of the gloves. There are some random assortment of tools in here, including hammer and heat gun. And we have a five ton trolley jack, which I have to get out of here. It's gonna be fun. Anyway, we'll have a look at these once they're on the ground. All right, so here's our trolley jack, out and about. And um, this valve does seem to close. I think it's all right. Not sure if we're going to pump up or not. It might be at a hydraulic oil. Most of the stuff from where I'm getting this from, most of this stuff is going to be non-functional to some degree. So I'll have to uh, examine this in more detail later. But um, chief among that is this pedestal drill with a big crack in the base here. I have a compatible base. I have an old pedestal, or I have an old cheap pedestal drill. This is also a cheap one, but it's in significantly better condition. Um, possibly with a bigger motor, so might be able to make one out of two with the bits I've got here. But uh, the spindle here is certainly much better fitted than the other one. I've got some uh, steel pop rivets, a lot of them. I've got a heat gun, which is going straight in e-waste. Um, I got a decent steel cable sling that is going to be good for the tow points on these vehicles. I got a wooden box here, which is literally just a plywood wooden box, but very handy. A spare hacksaw and a few other bits and bobs. I sort of cherry picked the bits that I thought I could use, uh, and these guys are certainly things I can use. So uh, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, move on. I have a lot of junk in here to clean out. The problem with getting overwhelmed, you accumulate junk, so yeah. Now, I also have to look at what's in here. These are more donations. Now, in this trailer, and hiding amongst all of this, if our EV will change enough, possibly not. There is a full trailer load of computer bits and old cases and monitors and all sorts of things. I'm going to cherry pick over a lot of that, pull some power supplies and SATA leads and stuff off it all, the rest is going to e-waste because we can get rid of that for free here so it's going to be interesting but this is more of a help a mate out than a donation anyway let's uh carry on okay for this delivery we have moved to the garage and we have oil lots and lots of oil and brake fluid and coolant concentrate and diff oil and synthetic engine oil we are doing an oil change on the six wheel drive so a couple of deliveries have arrived a bow shackle a 3.2 ton working load limit bow shackle I actually just bought four of these to put on all the recovery points on the six wheel drive ambulance and they are notoriously difficult to get into the boxes for they bubble wrap them, I'm not sure if it's for the protection of the shackle or the protection of the handler. But yes, we've got more of those. We also had a fire extinguisher show up, which uh, looks like was in pretty new condition when dropped. Um, no idea what date that this has been on, but it goes all the way to 2020 as the year. So being as it's 2021, nearly 2022, it's probably been sitting there for a while, but still good as a backup. Let's see what else we got. All right, we've got some big stuff here. We've got a diesel jerry can. Um, fast pour one. It's got the little venti thing on the top here that lets all your fuel leak out when you mount them sideways. Uh, anyway, that will be handy for an upcoming trip. And we've got more stuff. Okay, so you can't buy lots of oil without buying filters for it as well. So we've got filters here. A Z155X, 
and a Ryko Z333 because I couldn't find the ones that I really want to put on. These are the only compatible ones I can get locally. So I do need to do an oil change at short notice. This is what I could find. So we have a main oil filter and a bypass filter. They're getting changed very soon. All right, we have some other stuff as well. Now, of course, we're going a long trip soon, so we're going to need some tires to line. Um, that's a replacement for a tire patch kit, which I also got as well for doing tubes. Because all the six tires in that six wheel drive, they all use tubes. Um, also got a new fan belt in light of some of the squeaking it's been doing. Some more zip ties in case we need to do something weird. And an Anderson plug, which hopefully I will make use of soon. All right, I've had another donation arrive. And this one's an interesting one. This one is sort of a temporary donation. We will probably end up having to um, fix this one and pass it on. But uh, yeah, this is some hand cut lead crystal with a clock in the middle as well. And it sounds like I might have to try and get this clock functional again, although looking at the state of it, it might be just a battery. So it'll be interesting. We'll see what we can do. All right, so we're in the field for this delivery um, because I'm in the middle of a job and I'm in a hurry. I've got a big bag of cleanup rags or workshop rags, good quality cotton rags. I've got epoxy, which comes after the second tube of epoxy because I've needed to do stuff with that. The interior of this is gonna get a cleanup. Some M10 bolts, which I've uh, used to fit to that that little bit right there um, because I've got a plans for that some M8s in case I messed up and the M10s were too big um, alright and yes there's too much to remember at the moment but I'm in the hurry I'm planning to go away for a trip at short notice so yeah I've got to keep going alright a couple of deliveries have arrived and uh, this is an N-type to SMA male um, so it's N-type female the SMA mail adapter that will be relevant in a future video and this is a BNC to PL259 also known as your UHF plug so we'll see what else shows up all right we've just had something show up in a jiffy bag and it's um, a please do not bend from the Australian government so uh, let's see what this one is I'm gonna use scissors for this if the rippy tab doesn't work on this, this might work. I just don't want to bend anything because it's a government mandate that we don't bend it. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get into this. Ah, there's, the, there's the tear bit on the side there. Alright. Let's see what this is. Ooh, snazzy. Okay. Let's have a look at this bit. What has the government sent me? Ah, Australian Defence Reservist. Okay. Ah, hello, hello. It's my service pin. Very nice, with a pack of silica gel that apparently you shouldn't eat. Very, very nice. Now, let's see what else we have in here. Ah, this would be the Covenant. And uh, it's got my name and stuff in here, but this is what they send with it. Australian Defence Veterans Covenant. All right, not bad. All right, I will read the other letter because it's personally addressed to me and we uh, don't really want to have my name on camera here. Anyway, this is nifty. I'm going to take a bit of time to appreciate this. So, a uh, quick little rearrangement of the Mini Museum. And now that I come to film this, I notice it's got a lot of stuff on there. Let me give this a clean up. Alright, that looks a little bit better. Alright, so now it hides in the back there. I took a couple of things out and put them away, but we'll recycle this through from time to time. Anyway, let's move on to deliveries. Alright, even more deliveries have arrived. I got this folding storage box which I immediately put to use. Let's turn down the background noise. I've got some more Spherol Ultratech 2 Marine Grease. I've been using this on everything lately. Um, 
some more rubber cement because I need some more for my tyre repair kit. Yet more Anderson plugs to help replace the clip leads on that one. Some more gloves. Never could be without gloves and a backup first aid kit because we need some more. Anyway, let's carry on. Well, that wraps it up for another month of donations and deliveries. It's been an interesting one. Not as busy as some, but I don't know. These are growing very slowly in popularity. But then again, so is my channel. Anyway, converse in the comments below if you're interested. If not, well, I'm not here to tell you what to do. See you in the next one.